how's it going guys take care and ios 18.3 beta 3 is out for some days now and it does bring a lot of new changes improvements and features that we are going to take a look in this video so i'm going to start with the most important one first so first of all it's about 704 megabytes on my iphone 15 pro well it's not that big compared to the beta 2 which was like 7 gigs i think but this is 700 megabytes and as you can see this is what the build version number is for the ios 18.3 beta 3 so let's finally take a look what's new and what's changed all right so first feature has to do with the apple intelligence so if you go to settings and then if you go to notifications and as you can see summarize notification feature of apple intelligence is already on by default but if in any case it's off you're going to see a new splash screen that says that summarize notification is in beta and it can contain error but since it's already on for me so it says here that summaries may contain error so this is a change that has brought to the summarize notification of the apple ai because it did an error but people found out the error was there but it didn't mention that before so now it mentions that it's in the beta stage so it can contain errors well also there are a few changes to the notification itself but i don't really have any notification as you can see so what's the deal is that the summarized content on that notification that will appear over here will be in the italics so that means that content the font in italic it will denote that it's been summarized and also if you swipe right so you will have an option to turn off notification summaries for that exact notification on that app so this is the new capability that we got in ios 18.3 beta 3. well for now the summarized notification for news and entertainment apps it's turned off by apple for now it will definitely come back in future updates because people have reported complaints about wrong headlines being summarized things like that so they have disabled notification summary for these two for now also with regards to all this notification summary feature changes apple has also added a new setup page on the setup screen if you have an apple intelligence device it says notification summaries can contain errors so please double check for the information for the accurate ones so that has been added to the setup page all right so second feature also has to do with the apple intelligence so if you go to imessage and if you tap plus over here you can now finally get Genmoji and image playground added to this list so you can directly use it from here so but it's in beta as we already know so sometimes Genmoji might not show up it could be a bug so if you go back and repeatedly tap plus over here so Genmoji will appear if it doesn't appear for you already so this has been a change in the iMessage we also have a new warning for pdf editing so for example if you go to any website screenshot the pdf and select full page so if you crop anything on the pdf and save it it will give you a message that the content outside the cropped area won't be visible in most of the application but it could be made visible in some application so if you have that tendency of thing on your cropped pdf so you will get a warning pop up right there before saving it and you will know that something is wrong and you can correct that immediately well that's pretty much about the changes and the new features but let's talk about what has been brought back what bugs are fixed and what bugs remain so simply in the calculator app you are not able to perform repeated calculations first of all so now it's possible so if i add 2 plus 2 and if you tap the equal again it won't perform anything but if you now tap it in the beta 3 it will perform repeated calculations so this has been brought back and people also reported that the face id and the actual entire user interface felt less responsive than before and face id took at least a second to unlock stuff or do anything so now that's been fixed it's really fast again and there is a really annoying bug as you can see it saturates the wallpaper i think it's very easily visible as you can see on the home screen the wallpaper is more saturated and here it's less saturated so this bug still remains so it might get fixed in the beta 4 we are hoping for that so these are the features and changes bug fixes and that bugs remains in the ios 18.3 beta 3 that's pretty much it thanks for watching peace out